Miss Horizons we have one new ship called Cobra Mark IV. From in-game description we can learn that it's heavier and slower than Mark III, but packs an extra punch and better weapon replacement makes it a more effective combat vessel. I'm not sure. It's also tougher to improve survivability and allows better upgrading, but at expense of some of its agility. No. Anyway, this is an exclusive ship for players who own both Elite Dangerous and Elite Dangerous Horizons. And because of its exclusiveness, I would say that this ship really doesn't matter. You can't make it good, that's why the ship is as it is. In this video, let's just compare Cobra Mark III with Cobra Mark IV. Let's start with hard points. Cobra Mark III. Medium hard points in front of your cockpit, and small hard points are at far end of wings. So you can't use them for fixed weapons. Cobra Mark IV actually really has improved hard point locations. Same medium hard points, but small hard points are moved from button on top. And one is right behind the cockpit, followed by two small hard points. You can use fixed weapons effectively. Let's move to internal compartments and shipyard stats for my combat fitted ships. There is not a single module that would be better for Mark IV. All are copy paste from Mark III. Class 4 power plant, thrusters, frame drive. Class 3 life support power distributor sensors. Same 16 ton fuel tank. <sighs> the only difference actually is in amount of internal compartments. On Mark 3 you have 3 class 4 and 3 class 2. On Mark 4 you have 4 class 4, 2 class 3 and 2 class 2. So you can have more shield cell banks, more SRVs, more hull reinforcement packages, but that's about it. And it's very sad because three small hard points would be cool. Three small to medium, but same power distributor. Come on. And on the right you can see shipyard stats for ships, loadouts, which you can see on the left. Top speed mark three almost 300, <laughs> Cobra mark 4 208. Boost 427 versus 312. Jump range around 19 light years for Mark III and 16.6 Cobra Mark IV. Shields, well, Cobra Mark IV has slightly better shields, same armor. It's also slightly heavier by 30 tons, and both ships have same two utility mounts. Now let's recap all stats for both ships. Stock price 764,000 for Mark IV, around 380,000 Mark III. So Mark IV is almost twice as expensive as Mark III. Hull mass 210 versus 180. Max cargo 88 tons for Mark IV versus 60 for Cobra Mark III. Internal compartments, as you see, Cobra Mark IV has better compartments and more of those. Maximum jump, Mark III has slightly better jump than Mark IV. Zero pip maximum speed, 104 versus 149. Four pip, you already saw that, almost 100. <laughs> Boost, more than 100. Pitch, 360 degree with four pips, 11.8 for Cobra Mark IV and 8.4 for Cobra Mark III. And pitch 360 with zero pips, you can see that Cobra Mark III pitches faster with zero pips to engines than Cobra Mark IV with four pips to engines. Shields 242 versus 174 are more same. Combat fitted jump 16.6 versus 18.8, not the big difference. Let me highlight the winners. And as you see, only shields and internal compartments for Cobra Mark IV is better. All the rest stats are better for Cobra Mark III and some of those stats are really much better. You can see it right away. Zero pip speed, four pip speed, max boost, pitching. Pitching is actually very big difference for both ships. So what do you think about Cobra Mark IV? 
I was not disappointed because I did not expect anything from this ship. Especially because it's exclusive ship. You can't make exclusive ship even remotely useful. Otherwise, forums will be full of complaints. But then I can't find a single reason for this ship to exist in Elite Universe. So what would I do if I could do Cobra Mark IV? I think Cobra Mark IV deserves one class higher shield generator, so I would swap two class 4 internal compartments to one class 5 for shields. Then I would probably add one utility mount, one class higher power plant, one class higher power distributor to handle those three small weapons and two medium. That would actually be upgrade in firepower from Cobra Mark III. And of course increase its price tag. I would say somewhere between 1 and 1.5 mil should be enough. That would make Cobra Mark IV at least remotely useful for some occasions. Let's see, maybe they will change something in future. Fly safe, commanders.